So these athletes with a severe visual impairment, they will have a pilot on the front. For Marcin Pollock, it will be Mikel Badoz. For Tristan Bagmar of the Netherlands. In fact, for Alexandra Louveris, it will be Corentin Amenientol. technology going into these machines you'll see the big chain ring in the middle of the bike for Martin Pollack his pilot will have a much smaller chain ring so that it is the athlete who sets the tempo, who sets the speed. There is no assistance from the pilot other than offering protection and aerodynamics. So, Marcin Pollack versus Alexandra Louveraz, bronze medal for the men's B 4,000 metre individual pursuit. 16 laps of the track. Just see the contrasting gears possibly being used here. Pollack deciding to go with a much bigger gear, and by the looks of it, Luveris looking for a slightly easier gear, therefore riding at a much higher cadence. A lot of power used by the Polish rider of Pollack to get out of the starting gate, and they're actually a little bit further behind, and that's what we'd expect with a little bit uh, bigger gear. But once they get on top of that, they may be able to pull back Leveris from France. So the French riders, Leveris is in front. You can see that very aerodynamic position. He rests his head on the back of his pilot. So fascinating bronze medal pursuit underway. And it is Poland who have the narrowest of leads over Leveris of France, but so much of this race ahead, 16 laps of the track, 4,000 metres, so easy through the first 1,000 metres to get excited, to have that adrenaline hit, to pick you up, only to find it bring you down Luveris. at that key third 1,000 metres. Leveris of France now in the lead, it's a close race between Leveris and Polak, Leveris really pushing on now to try and increase that lead. And he's doing such a great job at this point. Not much in this. So who has the nails? They are at that point where they are really starting to suffer now. This is about holding on. This is just such a mental game. Who is prepared to hurt the most? Fascinating. Men's beat, 4,000 meet individual pursuit final. As we come through, get another split. So it is still the Frenchman, Lou Veris who has just under a second lead over Marcin Pollack, but we saw in the qualifying this morning, Pollack very good over the second half of this race. Yeah, Leveris will be aware of that. He's only 21 years of age, but Pollack may be able to bring this back. They, they've ridden a bigger gear, but they're actually losing time at the moment. So looking good for France and the bronze medal for Leveris as we are getting to past the two kilometer mark now in the second part of the race. Well, there's no plan B here. They are committed. And so it is the French who are now out to almost a second lead. Leveris over Marcin Pollack of Poland. But they get to that critical threshold. We talk about the 4,000 metres individual pursuit, 3,000 metres of hope and 1,000 metres of truth. We're about to approach that threshold. Now, who can hang tough here? Who is sticking to their plan? Is their plan the right one? Well, Leveris still got a... Handy lead on Pollack, but anything can happen. Like you say, they've now passed the 3,000 metre mark. 1K to go, four laps. Coming up to three laps to go. 
Levera still in the lead, but it is going to be a very close race for this bronze medal between Polak from Poland and Leveris. Well, interesting, isn't it? You just look at Leveris here. He's now really resting his head on the back of his pilot, Corentin Eminolt, and that is about fatigue as much as anything now. Just trying to hang on, trying to concentrate. Well, looks like they've got this one. They're so close to the finish now. But that time is coming down. Two tenths of a second taken back out of Leveris by Polak of Poland. And now more time coming back down. So hang on here. This could be one of the great races with a lap to go. Can Leveris hang on? Polak starting to make his move. Who's going to take this bronze medal? We've got 125 metres oh. left of this race and it's down to less than two tenths of a second. This could be Polak. Who takes it on the line from Poland? Who wins it? Who wins it? And it goes the way of Marcin Polak of Poland. What a performance. Well, he's won the bronze medal here at the Tokyo Paralympics in the last 100 metres. The Frenchman of Louveras, he held the lead all the way through this 4,000 metre pursuit until the last quarter of a lap. And there's the celebrations. They are very happy. So bronze medal goes to Polak of Poland in a sensational finish. That is extraordinary. What a performance from Polak. We talked about the fact that he's very strong over the second half. He did that again. He was very measured this morning. But, oh, you talk about small percentages. You can see off the mark here how big they, their gear is that they're pushing. Poland took them a long time to get on top of it and get it wound up, but they certainly brought it home in the last one or 200 metres. So we are talking 407.850 versus 408.126. So three tenths of a second there or thereabouts separating third from fourth. The difference between a bronze medal and maybe having to wait three more years to make that adjustment. Yeah, and to bring back half a second in one lap, it's quite an impressive thing. And people don't think aerodynamics is that important. Well, that's a great example of why it is so important. Trying not to get too much upper body movement at all at any point in this pursuit. One of the great races for the bronze medal.